Good morning, Year 5. Um, I hope your arithmetic went well yesterday. I can see that we're making some good progress in 5W, so I do hope that is um, clear across the other two classes as well. Okay, so now we've finished our um, unit on conversion, we're going to have a start at volume. First lesson is quite simply the learning objective, what is volume? Now we did touch on a little bit of volume when doing conversions, we looked at millilitres to litres. Um, so hopefully you've got a little bit of background knowledge as well from there. Okay, so let's work our way through the PowerPoint. Okay, just on the introduction slide, I just want you to read through it and have a little look at what they've done for the second question. Um, for how many different flat shapes can you make using one centimetre cube? Don't worry about that. Just have a little look at what they've um, created as answers here. Okay, so for VF1, complete the stem sentences to show the volume of this cuboid. Volume of this cuboid is made up of how many one centimetres cube? Okay, so quite simply, we could just count them up. So we've got one, we've got two, bear with me, this, I'm not very good, three and four. Okay, so this whole block here, that's made up of four um, centimetres cubed. Now we also have another lot here. So this one here would represent four. This one here would also represent four. This one here, you guessed it, will also be four. This one here will also be four. And this one here will also be four. So we've got to be thinking with these shapes that they're 3D and you won't be able to see all of the cubes. But we can see this open face here and there's four. Um, and we've got five lots of them. So four times five, you can work that out. That would be how we would tackle this question here. Okay, but so for VF2, count the centimetre cube to work out the volume of the cuboids. Now, nice and simple, all you need to do is count them. For A, it would be fairly simple because we can see every single um, cube there, so we can just count them up. For B, it's not quite so simple. So we can see these again. So we've got one, two, three, four. And we need to see how many lots of these four we have. So have a little look at that. I'm not going to give you the answers here, but I've sort of given you a good starting point to work out the answer. Okay, so this one's quite interesting. Match the containers to the correct volume. Now, the containers are in millilitres and the volume are in centimetres cubed. Interesting. So if we have a look at A, we've got 100 millilitres down here for notch one. So notch two, is the same distance, so this one would be add another 100 millilitres, this one here would be add another 100 millilitres, this one here would be add another 100 millilitres, 100, add another 100 would be 200, 300, 400 millilitres. Okay, this one here, we've got a thousand at the top, each of notches, we've got one, two, three, I'm not very accurate with this, four, five, six, let's count them up, seven, eight, nine, so there's 10 notches and a thousand millilitres. So we'd need to do a thousand divided by 10. Hopefully we'd know the answer to a thousand divided by 10. And then each notch is what the answer you have got. So we've got an answer somewhere there that will relate to one of these down here. And again, we've got on the C, 20, 40, with one notch in the middle, equal distance in the middle between 20 and 40. 20, add something and then add it again, we'll get to 40. Hopefully we'll be able to spot here that that is 30. So it goes up in notches of 10 millilitres. So this one here is, it's not a very good five. That's 50 millilitres. So see if you can have a go. I'm not giving you um, too much there, but see if you can have a go working out which would be the logical answers. Also on the answer page, just have a look. It's not too... Um, catch you out, but it's B is equal to 600, not A, okay? So do have a look at the answers properly. Last one we're going to have a look at all together before you get started on the sheets, the period fluency and reason and problem solving sheets. Um, true or false, the volume of this cuboid is 20 centimetres cubed. Hmm. So we can see here we've got one, two cubes, three cubes, four cubes and we know that there is a four cubes 
So this is exactly the same. We know then what this is equal to. I'm not going to tell you that. We know how many more we need to add because there's another how many cubes there and another how many cubes there. So it's four times how many have we got? I'm going to leave that down to you. And why not? We'll have a look at one of the reason problem solvings whilst we're here. Okay, great question this. Circle the cuboids, plural, so it's going to be more than one, um, equal to the volume of the container. Now the volume of the container, we've got 80 millilitres up at the top notch. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's perfect. If you want to know what the um, divisions are, 80 divided by 8 will be 10 millilitres between them. So this one will be 10 millilitres all the way up to this one. So I can tell you this one here is 40 millilitres. So the volume would be 40 centimetres cubed. Now we need to work out the volume of all A, B, C and D. So if you work out the volume, write it next to them. So for example, this is just off the top of my head, B, let's say it's 32 centimetres cubed. Let's not forget the cubed. Um, and we need to try and find a volume of 40. So once you've found out the volume of A, B, C and D, you might need to be able to add them up to then get 40 centimetres cubed. OK, that's all the help I'm going to give you for now. Um, do have a go. Choose your challenge on the sheets and don't forget to rag rate at the end, please. Thank you.